So my name is Naraman. I am currently doing a placement at Custom Pharma Services, which is a pharmaceutical company down in Hove. Uh, the placement title, so my job role, is Proposal Writer, and I am a Biomedical Science student. So I think, obviously, doing the course that I do, which is very science-based, you that is mainly kind of your focus. You learn, so you're, you're so focused on all of the science stuff, and, and you read and learn how to write in a certain way that's very... For, like for your papers but being in a corporate kind of role at the moment you learn how to write in a different style which is a lot so you learn kind of like corporate style writing and that and that sort of stuff which is really really valuable for later on like when you're looking for an actual an actual like grad role and and that sort of thing and then other things I sort of learn is just kind of like really like which I know sounds really basic, but organisation is such a like big thing. And like, I know at uni, you're sort of, yeah, you've got your timetable. You don't really stick to it. Sometimes you might go into a lecture, sometimes you might not. You, you get deadlines. You say at the beginning of the year, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. But there's no one really there tracking you until you get to that last week of when you've got it. That's when everything's sort of a bit manic. But when you're working, you don't have you don't have that luxury of sort of being, like, oh, I can actually I know that's due in a month's time that's not really how it works so you really do get kind of thrown in the deep when it comes to like organization and like time management which is so vital and so key like you could have all the skills you want but if you can't deliver any of your tasks on time you're kind of just doesn't really it's not really worthwhile for the company to have you there um so that's something that's also really important that i learned and then i think also just confidence because when you're on your course you can kind of shy in the back like sit in the back of your lecture hall you don't need to always put your hand up to respond to anything and I know if you are doing a science kind of um, course you don't have loads of like seminars and breakaway things so you're not really forced to have to speak to anyone so if you kind of wanted to cruise by the whole year and you didn't really want to you know other than talk to like your friends you could get away with that whereas when you're working in a company you have to know like all the other people that work there and like your team members and you're in meetings like constantly I think every every day I've got at least like two or three meetings where I'm talking to different people and you have to present stuff and you really kind of boost your confidence a lot because you're obviously like talking to all these people who are stakeholders and have like really high high paying jobs and all that kind of thing so you're like ah it's a bit scary but your confidence will really grow and it'll put you in such a good footing even when you come back um, like to do your work at uni because you just feel so much more confident and sure in like the work that you're doing that you don't need to then rely on like oh wh what's everyone else doing what's everyone else saying and also you'll feel a bit more confident to like ask your lecturers if you need help or to answer questions as well so I think that those are like the main things I think that are really really good that I've learned. So I obviously applied to quite a few different placements and they were all varied. So they weren't. Um, so some of them were working in the lab, some of them were more corporate roles and each one kind of there's like a fundamental application process and they'll all vary slightly. So for some of the ones that I did, you have the initial process where it's kind of like you, you'll log on, they'll have some forms, you answer some questions. And you'll fill out things like that and they'll mainly be about like your course it might ask some of them might ask like what school you went to if you need to put in any of your a-level grades and that sort of thing so that so it's it, it's nothing like daunting or scary and then they might have um only i think some of them i know for gsk it was one or two questions that you had to put in and i think the same for johnson johnson why you wanted to work with that company and then why you wanted to do that um job role and then the other thing was a so some of them will do these kind of like psychometric tests, which you can practice online um, and just doing loads of practice. You'll get the hang of it that they're, they're nothing scary or daunting. I know they kind of come across like that, but um, 
yeah they're not too bad there's loads of resources online and then in terms of the one that I actually applied for luckily it didn't need all of that it was pretty much you just had to write up your CV and then write write a cover letter and hand it in and then if you got through that first initial phase there was um, a interview with the recruit recruitment manager for the company and the person and like my manager that would the person that would be my manager at the company did like a meeting then like an interview which was just sort of the basic standard questions that you think of of give me a time where you've showed I don't know uh, some certain skills or whatever those kind of questions which is fine um, and quite common so you like it's nothing that you'd be uh, you would you like you it's, it's nothing that you wouldn't have come across before anyway and then you know you'll, you'll get a couple questions that will be again why do you want to do it why do you want that what like, why that role specifically a couple of them might ask what your um kind of career aspects are and goals so it's really good to know that and then obviously know a bit about the company they might not specifically ask you directly about it but obviously knowing that helps in the sense of why you want to do that job role so you can just talk about the job role but also like the company itself um which they tend to really like because it means they actually you have looked them up um and then i would just say where, wherever you're applying for i guess if, if you get to like the interview stages um really kind of know current things that are happening within that world because it obviously looks good they might not ask you they might ask if you can weave it in it's obviously always better um, yeah, and then I think the last stage of my of the application process was I had to do like a an exam. So for my role, it's proposal writing. So essentially, they kind of did like a mock proposal thing, and I just had to answer a couple of questions, come back, present it. And it was and to be honest, these companies like they they want you to be there. They're not trying to do it to trip you up or to you know make make you look bad they they do help you along the way quite like as much as they can and 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 everything so it's 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 it seems scary when you're doing it but honestly it's nothing that you're not used to and they're all pretty similar so like once you do one don't limit yourself because it, you'll get used to it like the process is pretty similar along the way um so for me i always knew going into like the course that i was definitely going to do a placement year and you have to remember that the reason why i think it's just so important and it's really underrated that like, a lot of people don't necessarily think about doing one or it's not as high of a priority it's just so good because you have to remember that you're going to graduate at the end of your degree with let's say hopefully like a two one or a first and then you have to remember there's what a couple of hundred people also on your course they're also going to be graduating having done the exact same degree and also hopefully had gotten a two one and a first then you have to look at the bigger picture of there's also other universities and other people at those universities doing the same degree with the same like grade when they graduate so you have to think sort of what's going to make you stand out so obviously yeah if you if you're doing some volunteering stuff along the way and all of that but the only time that you're really going to get a whole year dedicated to basically working within your field is during that placement year and then it's like when you graduate it's like yeah i've graduated with a with a good result but also I've got a whole year working in industry. So I've got not just like the knowledge, like the theoretical knowledge from my degree, I've got the applied knowledge as well, which is obviously, you have to think about it, like as an employer, that's gonna be so much better, like having someone who already kind of knows what's going on, knows what's what. So that, that that's why I think for a placement year, like if you can do it, definitely give it a go. Obviously, don't be disheartened if you don't get one, but definitely try and, and, and put yourself out there and, and get one if you can. So I actually feel like I'm in quite a good position because so obviously do, like I know 
throughout your course, your lecturers will probably tell you make LinkedIn, which 100% at the time you might think, yeah, OK, whatever, maybe I'll make one, maybe not see how I feel. Definitely make one because I didn't until I got the role that I'm at at the moment. And obviously everyone's got LinkedIn and they'll be like, oh, add us on LinkedIn kind of thing. And because of that and then having the experience that I've got at the moment, the fact that I've, I'm doing a whole year in a pharmaceutical company, I've already had, bearing in mind, I haven't finished my placement yet and I've still got one more year ahead. I've had recruiters and other life science companies um, message me and say, hi, like, can you send us your CV? What are your job prospects? Would you like to potentially work for us now? Some have actually offered, um, offered like part time roles so I can work for them while I'm still doing my last year, which obviously puts you in such a great footing, knowing that, you know, if, if I do take one of those jobs and it, and it goes well and I pass the interview stages, knowing that I graduate with with a job in hand. So obviously it, it just makes you a lot more appealing in the job market, essentially. You just kind of have to think what's like, what's going to make you stand out and and yeah so already it's kind of like I, I've had people from now asking me if, if I want to work with them I, I had a job interview I think about two weeks ago for a life science company uh, a biotech company and um and yeah already doing an interview of them already and sort of getting feelers out there and 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 it's really good even if a lot of them I have said, you know, um, I don't know whether it's something that I would necessarily commit to just because I'm really focused on trying to get first for my degree. But a lot of them have still said, like, can we keep you in contact? They do um, still send me things to say, like, oh, actually, you know, w when you graduate, is there, would you want to work for us? And I've already had as well the company I'm working for at the moment have um, offered me a a role as well for when I graduate to come back so yeah I would say it puts you in quite a good position when you graduate because a lot of people don't always find jobs straight away and they don't always get onto grad schemes because they are very competitive. Um, I would say first of all start early do not leave it to the last minute because you'll you'll shoot yourself in the foot a lot of them open really early and by about I think maybe from October they open and before you've even hit like December, January, they're closing and that's quite a lot of them sort of gone. I know mainly, like I, I know a lot of people do apply for like GSK and that that goes quite quickly. So I definitely say start early. Um, apply to as many. Don't limit yourself to saying, oh, I'm only going to apply to, you know, I can only apply to one or two or something. No, but it's it's endless apply to as many as you can because then obviously that increases your chances of getting one um what else should I say don't be put off sometimes you'll see that they might say you know um there's certain criteria that you need to meet and honestly you you'd be surprised how far you can probably get if you've got a lot of if your CV looks quite good, and when I mean your CV looks good, I don't mean the kind of CV when you're applying to, you know, these, like a, a part time job. I mean, like a you, you'll need to write a good CV that kind of covers what you've done in your um, in your degree so far. And, and that's sort of, in, in, in that kind of respect. And you you really would be surprised to so like for myself, I don't even think I had the the necessary I, I wasn't that high up on the on the um ban marking I think for one of the ones I applied for and I still got quite far and I know that a lot of other people didn't even get through who had a lot better marks than myself so I would definitely just say like just apply like you really will be surprised sometimes the, your answer to why you want to work there might be enough for them to say you know what actually why not or also because they they do it as well on the um like it's psychometric exam that they give you as well so if you do really well on that it kind of shows them something that they might actually be like you know what yeah we'll, we'll take you on um and I also say use the careers office like the people that work there they are really helpful and 
you use the resources that we actually have at uni because you'd be so surprised like doing it on your own is a bit daunting and you can definitely do it on your own that's fine but if you really want the kind of support and the almost like inside knowledge because this is like when you go to the careers place that is that is what they're they're there for so they know like they've obviously got like previous students like myself who tell them like you know these are some of the interview questions I got or yeah these are the kind of things that they're looking for and that and, and in that respect so 100% utilize the stuff that we've got at uni and yeah just apply early and apply everywhere and also don't limit yourself to just what you like your degree if that makes sense so for myself I do biomedical science but I'm doing proposal writing which doesn't necessarily which doesn't really directly link to my degree um probably at all um but it's still really like the experience that I have is so so valuable for life science companies which you wouldn't necessarily think and also I I, I think some of the ones I applied for as well were some more corporate like banking and like data analysis kind of ones so yeah you're, you're not limited like definitely look because you don't just need to say you know I need to work in a lab or I need to I only need to go for the titles that directly link to my course that's not don't just think of the placement as that it's also there's so many other skills that you'll learn that are so valuable that translate into every like job role so Re really like use it as your chance to find out what you might like what you might not like and yeah j j just just go for it basically that that is all I would really say